I hope that you all have understood the importance of chemistry in the field of food processing. Next, let's get into two other important fields where chemistry is involved. Cosmetics and clothing. Let's begin with cosmetics. We all use cosmetics, isn't it? What are these cosmetics? Cosmetics are products that are used to enhance or alter the appearance or fragrance of an individual. These are mixtures of chemical compounds. This chemical compound can either be from a natural source or from a synthetic source. These chemical compounds include modified natural oil and fat, minerals such as zinc oxide, iron oxide and talc. Minerals are nothing but substances that are naturally present on earth, which is made up of an element or a combination of elements. Now, let us see how these minerals are useful in cosmetics. Let's begin with talc. Talc is a mineral which is made up of elements like magnesium, silicon and oxygen, otherwise called as hydrated magnesium silicate. Talcum powder that we use is made from talc. Talc in the natural form, as you can see here, natural form of talc, it contains asbestos, which is other naturally occurring mineral. But asbestos is harmful for human beings if inhaled or ingested. Therefore, asbestos is removed from talcum and other consumer products of cosmetics. As I already told you, talc is used in talcum powder and other cosmetic products because it absorbs moisture, it reduces friction, it keeps the skin dry and also prevents rashes. While using a talcum powder, you all would have experienced these properties of talc, isn't it? Now, let us see. Which other chemical ingredients are used in cosmetics? The first one is water. Water is the basic of all cosmetic products. And also, it acts as a solvent to dissolve other water-soluble ingredients that are used in cosmetic products. The next one is titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide helps in hiding any blemishes that are there on skin and therefore it helps in brightening the skin. It is used as a base for mineral makeup. It also provides mild sun protection and it is a natural pigment powder which gives white color to colored ingredients. The next chemical ingredient is oxide of zinc and iron. Oxides of zinc and iron are used as pigments or colorants. They help in providing colors to cosmetic products. It is also used because of its inflammatory property. That is, it reduces any inflammation or swelling. The next chemical ingredient is an emulsifier. Emulsifiers are substances that are used to stabilize a product, which means an emulsifier helps to keep unlike ingredients like oil and water from separating when they are in a mixture of both the liquids. 
and that is why it is used in creams and lotions to give even texture. As we have already seen preservatives, these are also added to cosmetics. This is done to extend shelf life of cosmetic products and also to prevent growth of microorganisms. Now, you can see the picture of titanium dioxide, oxides of zinc and iron and also emulsifier at the bottom. Now, let's look at the next area where chemistry is important. Clothing and chemistry. As you all know, cloth is an item that we use to cover our body. Generally, we use a fabric for this purpose. Fabric is a cloth that is produced by weaving or knitting fibers. There are two types of fibers. They are natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are fibers that are produced naturally. That is mostly by plants and animals. They are directly converted into a clothing material. Example, cotton and wool are natural fibers. Cotton is obtained from cotton plant as you can see here in the picture. And also wool is obtained from sheep. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers. These are artificially prepared by man. It is made by the conversion of fibers such as cotton. Example of synthetic fibers, terylene, nylon and rayon. These are used in expensive clothing and in the making of carpets. Now let us see these synthetic fibers one by one. Terylene. These are formed by addition of polyester to natural fiber. Polyesters are also synthetic fibers that are formed by a chemical reaction. This fiber, this fabric is easy to clean and is also crease resistant and therefore it requires less ironing. You can see the picture of a terylene roll here and also a terylene fabric. Let's see few properties or qualities of terylene. It is a strong fabric and therefore will not have any loss in strength when it is wet. It is elastic in nature. That is, it can be stretched. It is also resistant to friction. They absorb very little water and therefore dries quickly on washing. The next one is rayon. It is a regenerated cellulose fiber, which means it is made from cellulose fibers, which are fibers that can be obtained from the bark, wood or leaves of plants. When it is mixed or blended with wool, it is used for the making of carpets. When it is mixed or blended with cotton, it is used for the making of bed sheets. You can see a picture of rayon rope and also a fabric that is of rayon material. The next one is nylon. 
It is a synthetic fiber which looks like a silky material. As you see here in the picture. These are used in making fabrics, ropes, brushes, hooks etc.